Hello students, how are you? I hope you all are enjoying good health. Welcome to the SST class of 2nd standard. Lesson 18, Good Habits. Before proceeding further, we will have a quick review of what we have learned in the previous classes. We have learned good habits that we should follow, magic words, words of power which have a specific effect. Sorry, excuse me, welcome, please, thank you. We can be polite by using these magic words while talking with others. Students, I hope the topics that I had discussed with you in the previous classes are clear to you. Now I am going to take feedback in the form of cross questions. Number 1. What do you understand by magic words? Number 2. Name the magic words. Number 3. Which magic word do we use when we get something from someone? And number 4. How do we talk with others? I hope now you are able to answer these questions. Students, today I am going to discuss habits of cleanliness that we should follow to stay fit and healthy. Number 1. Brush your teeth twice a day. Students, you should brush your teeth twice a day. It removes particles of food that may be stuck between your teeth and also protect your teeth from cavity. Number 2. Regular bath wash away germs and prevent illness. So students, take a bath daily. Number 3. Oiling regularly gives your hair the essential nutrients and removes dryness. So, oil your hair regularly. Wash your hands before and after a meal. It prevents infection and keeps your body safe from entering germs. Students, you should trim your nails regularly so that germs will not enter in your body. Clean your hair with good shampoo as shampoo helps to remove dirt and smell. You should wear clean clothes to keep your body free from germs and to look smart. Students, it is very important to keep your surroundings clean. How can you keep your surroundings clean? By not cutting the trees, by planting more and more trees, by throwing garbage in a dustbin, by not plucking flowers. So, it is your duty to keep your surroundings clean. Now, it's a time of reading, so open your book at page 89. Grandfather, Ramesh, taking a bath every day is also a good habit. We must take a bath every day because we must always be clean. We must brush our teeth every day. We must wash our hands before and after eating our food. Under an every day, write down the meaning daily. Students, take a bath, brush your teeth, wash your hands before and after eating. All these are habits of cleanliness that you should follow to keep your body fit and healthy. Now, page 90. Daddy, we must keep our surroundings clean. 
Never throw garbage or empty wrappers in the open. Rather use dust bins. Now underline garbage, write down the meaning rubbish. Students, we must keep our surroundings clean. And how can we keep our surroundings clean? By planting more and more trees, by throwing garbage or empty wrappers in a dustbin. Grandfather, also remember that we must always speak the truth. We must never tell lies. Speaking the truth is a very good habit. Students, never tell a lie. Always speak the truth. Telling a lie is a bad habit. So, you should speak the truth. So, if you learn good habits, you will get many friends. Otherwise, no one will ever respect you. Students, a person with good habits is liked by everyone. So, learn good habits. If you follow good habits, you will become a good citizen. So, students, today I have read page 89 and 90. So, your homework is to watch this video again and do exercise A, B and C of writing Joan on page 92. Thank you.